<clears throat> Thanks for joining me. Let's talk about uh, the Sam Reinhardt and Josh Levo signings. Now, um, Reinhardt uh, signed a one-year deal for $5.2 million. And this is a pretty good deal for both sides, I think, here. Now, for Buffalo, of course, for the price, um, Reinhardt will also be an RFA with arbitration rights at the end of this contract, by the way. And I can see what Reinhardt's thinking here as well. You know, uh, I would think he'd be, he would be worth more, maybe, you know, around the six and a half area uh, per year. Uh, he's a pretty consistent player. We'll get to his stats in a second. Um, but I'm thinking maybe he, you know, is doing the same thing Hall did. And even more so now that he's knows he's probably going to be playing with Eichel and, ha and Hull on that first line. And what's going to happen? There's a good chance he's going to be able to pump his value up so that when it comes to signing, uh, re-signing next year, he could sign, you know, he could really cash in. Um, so there's that. Now he's coming off a contract that was um, two years in length, uh, worth just over $3.65 million before that. And in the five seasons he's been um, with the Sabres, he's been pretty consistent point-wise. Has scored 20-plus uh, goals in every season except for one. Now, uh, this past season in the 69 games, he had 22 goals, uh, 50 points. It's a minus 15. And um, the, his, the best season uh, goal-wise was when he scored 25. That was 2017-18. Um, and then his worst goal appearance, uh, the only season under under 22 goals, uh, was in 2016-17, where he had 17 goals and but still had 47 points, pretty decent. Uh, it's his it's it's his defense slash you know um, defense awareness slash a plus minus category uh, that he sort of needs to pay a little bit more attention to. Um, but I think this is a win-win, right? Not only is it, it, it could be said that this is a prove-it deal for Eichel, which I'm like, well, he's basically already proved that he's a 20-plus goal scorer, around 50-point guy. Um, but this is also a prove-it deal for Kevin Adams as the GM, almost, right? Whereas players are like, no. I want you to show me what you can do with this club in a year, and then we'll talk. I want you to give me some hope, and and we'll and we'll move along from there. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought that was amusing. Now Buffalo right now has uh, just over nine point one million dollars in cap space left, but does have some players left to sign. Um, the biggest probably being Victor Olofsson, a uh, twenty-five year old who was uh, flanking uh, Eichel at times. There, he he's an RFA with arbitration rights. Um, he came in, he, this was a breakout season for him. He had, a, he had 20 goals, I'm going to say, right on the nose. Yes, that's correct, 42 points. Uh, this especially is a player who needs a prove-it deal. So I would think this would be another one-year or two-year kind of thing. We'll see how that works out. Um, and there's Linus Elmark, their goaltender, uh, the 27-year-old, an, uh, and also an RFA with Arborites. And uh, I hear that they're very far apart uh, number-wise. So that's an issue. And the last uh, here, RFA with Arbrights, is um, left-shot defenseman Lawrence uh, Pilou. Or Pilot. Or um, however you think I should be pronouncing that. Uh, all right, so let's move on to uh, Josh Levo. Um, another Vancouver Canuck player goes uh, to the Calgary Flames. It's kind of funny, you know... Uh, Vancouver sort of robbed the Leafs of him um, when they got him, and he was scoring some timely goals until he started to have some injury problems, which kind of overshadows his uh, his time there um, with the Canucks. And in, in Toronto, he just wasn't given you know enough either enough ice time or he was sitting in the, the press box half the time. Uh, it didn't seem like Babcock really liked the guy, but he's got a really good shot. Um, now he's 27 years old, six foot two, 192 pounds. Um, he just had a birthday in May. Uh, the Leafs drafted him in the third round, in 2011. He plays both wings. Um, and last season, in 36 games with Canucks, because he had some injuries, seven goals, um, 19 points, plus minus he was a zero. But uh, the season before that, in which he split between the Leafs and the Canucks, um, in about 76 games, I want to say he had 14 goals. 
um, and that was a league. That was a, a year high for him, and he had 24 points and was a plus five. I think this guy has the potential to be around a 20 goal score, 20, 23 goal score, um, if he can, you know, stay away from the infirmary and uh, be playing, you know, some steady minutes every night. He's a good third line kind of guy who might be able to moonlight in the top six when there's injuries, um, and he'd be probably be a, a really good fit on a second power play unit as well. So um, kudos for the signing. Um, did I mention the number yet? It's a one-year $875,000 deal uh, that they signed him to. So there's no risks here. He'll be a UFA at the end of this contract. Calgary has just over a million dollars left um, to spend right now. And they only have uh, one RFA left with no arbitration rights, and that's left shot defenseman Oliver Killington, um, the 23-year-old. Uh, I would assume they'd probably be able to sign him to a one or two year deal uh, for less than a million dollars the way you know things are going now um, with some other cheap contracts you know during the pandemic and such. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, Buffalo and um, Calgary Flans. I'd love to hear what you think of these signings down in the comment section down below where you think they're going to play, what you think about the term and the money, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, there are some cool analytics um, about uh, Reinhardt uh, on my Twitter feed at Hockey Crash Test, so you can check that out. Um, I'm also on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. And hey, please be kind to each other out there. I'll see you soon.